what's up guys so in this video as the title set shows you i bought myself a little birthday present so if you guys don't know and then you know i'm pretty sure a lot of you don't know it is my birthday and um i wanted to buy myself something nice i am 32 um you know I, I've, I've, i'm happy you know have a good family and everything so you know i wanted to buy something nice i want a little change i wanted to enjoy something new and i bought myself something and as you saw in the probably in the thumbnail you guessed it right it's a new vehicle but what did i get it's something that i never thought i was going to get honestly um i had a look at them i really liked them but i heard horrible things about them but you know what i pulled the trigger i was like you know what what the hell let me try it out um and see what it is see if it really is that bad or and if it is i can just trade it in get something different um but yeah that's what i did and this baby is the new vehicle for the Zunigas. This is a Range Rover SV Autobiography. Um, this thing is amazing, it's beautiful. This thing has, you know, uh, 22 inch wheels are aftermarket. I bought it, it's used. I bought it with about 13,000 miles and you guys can see right here, SV Autobiography. The beauty of this vehicle is the power, the comfort, the luxury. And um, the looks might not be the best it's not i'm not saying it's ugly but they they can be seen that is a little outdated maybe for some people because they've had the similar body style for years now they've only updated it little by little the headlights and stuff like that but the body style is pretty much the same for years now so this is the sv autobiography um it has about 557 um horsepower and 516 torque and the beauty is that it's a v8 supercharged engine now one of my favorite things about this car is the luxury of course but the space in the back um you open it up you have your trunk back here press this button this releases and you can lower it a bit or raise it I don't know if you can notice that it's being risen. And you can see on the wheels here, it's risen right there. And then I press this button, it just goes down. And you can see on the wheels there, back to. And that's so you can load stuff easier, put boxes and stuff back here. And I love the space on that. I mean, I went on a trip recently and um, I put, you know, bags, strollers and everything and everything fit perfectly fine. Um, and yeah, that's where I put all my gym gear, my boxing stuff, you know, weightlifting belt, any packages that I have. And of course, I have some and some belts. I actually got a you know, few more boxes of this and some belts because i love them so much and i have different styles in here um and they come with a little fitting guide um to show you guys how to adjust it and all that and how to cut it which is pretty cool um so these are anson belts and anson belts as you guys know are part are our are, are partners and our uh one of our sponsors and i we love anson belts i actually met the guys at manfluential and these guys are amazing it's a family-owned business they're amazing and on top of that they have great customer service um, great reviews and they have an amazing product so Anson Bells basically sends you a package like this um, and you can get you can get for example three buckles two belts um, you see that you can get this you get three belts right here three buckles and this one i already took one out but has you know same thing had three belts three buckles but you get you can get packages like these and you can take advantage of them the cool thing about ants and belts is their micro adjustments now you don't have to worry about making holes or your belt getting all cracked up because you singe it up and it looks horrible now they have micro adjustments and if you, know, you ate a little bit too much and you need adjusting you can just pull it out and it, everything is going to fit perfect there, there's about 30 micro adjustments all a quarter inch apart and on top of that it's a one size fits all basically this belt let me take one out uh, 
This one, for example, um, it's just one size fits all because you adjust it, you cut it to your size. That way you don't have to worry about, you know, getting a belt too big or too small. You do it from the comfort of your home. Now, let me put a buckle. I'm not, this is, is this is an uncut belt, but let me put a buckle so I can show you how it works. Um, I put the buckle in and these are the adjustments. You can see the little track in the back and you can hear it. These are all the little adjustments that it has. And when you want to loosen it up, you basically has this little lever here. You pull it up and you can just take it out. So they have th these, they're leather, and you can see different buckles as well. This one is a leather one, different buckle. Um, this one is more of a canvas, which is pretty cool for more casual wear. Um, you can see the buckles here. And this one is also leather. So you can see there's more of a smooth leather. So here, this one, it's more like a suede feeling leather um and all the all this it can be part of something that you can buy from anson belts the beauty of anson belts is that they have a lifetime guarantee so you don't have to worry about something going wrong and then you're screwed with it and the beauty of it of course is that you can just change buckles you just put them in you put it down and you have a new buckle and a new belt now you can get Anson belts right now. If you click the link down below, you can get basically three straps, two buckles, or three buckles, two, str two straps, basically a six belt combination for under a hundred bucks, or you can just get the one belt combo. And that's it, you get six combinations, six different belts basically, by just grabbing one of these boxes and you're good to go. So check out Anson Belts, guys. I'll have the link down below. These things are amazing, and they're one of the best belts out there. We love using them. We've been partnering up with them for years now because they actually work. So definitely check them out, guys. I'll have the link down below so you can get take advantage of this amazing deal. Now let's continue with um, showing you the car. So basically, this is one of my favorite parts. Like I said, um, it has everything to adjust from here. You can close the front seats from here as well like i said lower and over, um, lift the car you have a plug and another one to charge stuff and stuff like that the other thing i like is that you can lower this and you can actually use this to sit down and have like a little picnic some of them even come with chairs that you can put on it you know if you want to pay an extra five thousand dollars for that and of course it comes with a little cover that you put on um, so it gives you some privacy. Now let's go inside. It's getting a little hot. Show you the inside of the car. This is the best part of the vehicle. Um, like I said, this is the SV autobiography. So this one is fully loaded. This is the highest trim possible that you can get in this car. Um, and, and then it shows uh, the different features, the different things that this car has. And on top of that, the engine is upgraded. Like I said, um, there is, there are, you know, V6 supercharged and all that, but this is the V8 uh, 5.0 liter supercharged engine. Like I said, it has 557 horsepower, about 516 torque. So it is a monster, it is fast, um, it is loud enough and, but it's comfortable. That's the beauty of it. So as you guys know, now Land Rover, Jaguar have um, two screens and which is pretty cool. You can have your Apple CarPlay or Android Play up here. And then on here, you can still control your climate. Here you have seats. You have here more vehicle stuff, settings. And this vehicle stuff right here, let's go back, is more for terrain, eco mode. Um, this is snow. This is, um, um, if you have it in auto, it won't work. Lift that up and it shows up again. And now you can just adjust through the things if you wanted. This is desert or sand or whatever. Going into four by four or something here. You see that it's changing, locking or unlocking differentials and stuff like that. So it went into, you know, sand program selected. You can go back to eco mode or dynamic. I'm sorry. <clears throat> and it's changing there. Um, so, yeah. Um, the One of the things that I don't like about it is that it's not too... It's not fast compared to Tesla. Um, this one is um, 
a little slower the screen but i love the fact that we have two screens you can have two different things going on at the same time and on top of that this whole thing is a screen is digital as well and it's controlled through here um i love this design for whatever reason i've always liked it and how it looks and all that and everything you can control it from here as you guys can see and i can change it to whatever i want i can make this whole thing a map if i want i really wanted to um and yeah you control everything through here you got your phone answering volume tracks uh, change tracks this is the, your cruise control and warming up the steering wheel you have paddle shifters here if you want to change um gears and all that um it's a beautiful vehicle from up here is very comfortable you can control your seats from here of course like any car from there it has massage seats it has a meriden uh, sound system so it has speakers all over the place and it sounds pretty pretty good another thing that it has it has panoramic sunroof and the cool thing is this gesture i just go like that and it'll open the roof i rarely use it um there's too much sun here in florida it gets too hot um even though it has a light tint to it it's not enough and then if i want to close it i just go like that and it starts closing now the best part of this vehicle is not so much it is driving it drives amazingly um the windows are like double the size just so it keeps the noise out and it's just a, such a comfortable vehicle to drive it's such a comfortable vehicle to be in um the, the seats are super comfortable especially for long trips and all that um but the best part is actually not here is back there especially if you can afford a driver um definitely back there so let's hop into the back and, and and i'll show you all right so this is the best part of this vehicle um it's not even that side so much i mean that side is pretty cool but this one's the best part first thing first um this thing you press this button and it's electronic everything comes down um is a great little you know armrest um has some storage in there some cup holders and stuff like that um you know small little storage nothing crazy and then you have some more storage here some hdmi input so you can watch tv or whatever there um and then some uh usb stuff but you close that you know little storage here like i said nothing crazy and then you press this still all electronic and then you open that up and you have some cup, cup holders in there and if you're a smoker which i'm not and i wouldn't smoke in this car you will have a little ashtray in here if you want to use and ha this has the what they call the smoker package or whatever from here you can also control both sides of the car so if you click this button it will lower you know this window so right and then if I click that, I can just do that from this side of the vehicle. And if I click both, it will lower both windows. Anyways, let me close that up. All right, on top of that, you have reading lights. If you want reading lights, if you want lights to um, use your computer, if you want to open the panoramic sunroof, you can do it from here. You don't have to tell anybody to do it for you. You can just do that and I'll open it up. You don't have to talk to your driver about that. Um, turn off the lights. And those are the lights that, that turn on. And you can also pause or mute the music. You can hear that? And you can mute it if you don't want to listen so this is definitely a car to be driven in on top of that you have full control of your seats and like i said this is the best one to be in so if you press that one um it moves this seat all the way forward so it gives you more space it lowers this and see and it's adjusting the tv as well and then it's lifting this so you can rest your feet there and have that there and it will lift it up so you know you're comfortably and it did recline me a bit just by a press of a button and then i can just tell jose 
take me wherever. You know what I'm saying? And from there, <laughs> I don't really have to talk to Jose about taking me anywhere. If you go on the screen here, um, you have everything from here. You can have, you can, um, have your media, your seats as well if you want. And this seat right here, the beauty of it is that it has um, uh, massage seats if you want that. Um, that's the footrest where you put that and it'll cool it or warm it or whatever. And then go back here and you go to navigation. So navigation shows up. Um, you want to go somewhere, but you don't want to talk to Jose. You uh, search. So let's say you want to go eat somewhere. Um, this is our closest one. You could do that. And then you tell to driver. And it will show up on the drivers over there. And he will put see more info. He can cancel it or whatever. And the navigation will show up on that side without me saying anything. On top of that, it talks about parking in the area. You know, where you can park if there's, you can go back place details it tells you the address the phone number how far away it is go back go back home and you can do that like i said um tells you the temperature and you can adjust everything from here um you can go back home you have your media if you want radio xm library media and that's the library media is what it's in here so you can watch whatever you want on this screen so let's go back home Let's adjust this back and I'll move everything back to its place. Of course, try to get out of the car before you do that because everything goes back to normal. The back, the front seat goes back to normal. The screen adjusts so I can still see it. And like I said, you know, if I don't want to be reclined, even if I want to be reclined in the back without being, you know, completely reclined, I can recline it and still not have the uh, foot rest. You can just sit there and you're chilling or you can just put it back to normal and you're good to go. Like I said, it has massage. So if you click on this, you'll start getting massages in the back. Um, and then this is to adjust the bolster. Um, this is to move or just move everything forward. It won't lift anything up. It just moves it forward. That way you have room basically to fit there. Headrest goes down screen adjust and you just have all the space of in the world back here you have all the space you don't have to it doesn't recline because if it does not what you want now like like i said that is electronic so everything goes back there here you can also control if you really don't want that to confuse the screen i don't know why you wouldn't if it's there uh you can also control it through here uh push and it'll control the 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 seat warmer or cooling because it has ventilated seats or cooled seats on all four sides and then warm seats on all four sides as well um you can control the and adjust you know how strong you want it it has here little nice little knobs that cover those things they're not open and all that so you can connect the phone um has more charging usb here another usb here and it has a big plug back down there um oh another thing that i forgot to show you guys is like i said this is a car to be driven in basically um you go here you open this and then in here you open it again and you have a little refrigerator you put your stuff you can carry probably you know small little water bottles or cans of coke or you know something in there and you can keep it cool especially if you're being driven by somebody. Um, you can just have some water there, or like I said, a soda or sparkling water or whatever, and you can have it sitting there and whenever you want one, you can ask your driver to get you one. So those are the pretty cool features of this car. And on top of that, there's a little thing to hold your suit and things like that. Oh, I was talking that you're gonna be my driver. Oh, that's what I, I was yeah. like. Where, where do you go? Yeah, you're gonna be my driver. Yeah, okay. Jose, take me so I don't have to talk to you. I can just send yeah, okay. the little notification uh, this to is you. Sexy. <clears throat> so, everything this back is here. Sexy. This is a car to be driven in. Um, yeah, Did I showed you show them that. that. Yep, that's probably the only cool thing about this Range Rover, other than that they spend their, their whole lifetime in a mechanic shop. Oh, even the headliner is made of leather. Look at that. You should have gotten a real man's car. Oh, let's go show him your car. 
the little modifications you did. So Jose already modified. Oh, one of the things I did is I completely limo tinted everything, so you, you can't see anything. Ceramic tint. You did tint already. All black wheels. Are dirty. He blacked out the wheels. Nothing And he color matched the bumper. I haven't seen any other AMG. So if I if you peep any other AMGs with color match bullboard, unless it's black, black on black, that's basic. yeah. But you will not see another. He AMG color matched color to match. the car. And if you do it, remember who did it first. Look at that. In it, I was a little skeptical. I didn't know how oh, it was going to look, sexy. but it looks sexy. It. it looks I amazing. Love, I would do it all over again. You just need to get bigger wheels. Honestly, I kind of like them. I, I got used to them. You got used to them? Yeah. I was thinking sidewalls. like 22s. The sidewalls, if I ever run into like a sidewalk, I'm chilling. Well, yeah, you have a problem with running uh, into good. sidewalks. Yeah, I do. <laughs> no, I'm chilling. But it looks beautiful. So, yeah, guys, that's basically it. That is my new ride. Um, I still have the Tesla for if you want to know. I still have the Tesla. So what I did was that my wife's car um, was a lease um, because we didn't drive as much. So I got rid of that lease. And now I traded that lease for this one. Um, and I just bought it out because lease is too restrictive for me. We we like taking trips. We like going on trips and stuff like that and using our cars and, you know, being restricted to a certain amount of miles didn't work out for us. So I just bought this one used. It was, like I said, 13,000 miles, but in condition, it was perfectly fine. Um, it was perfect, basically. Um, it was clean. Everything worked fine. Um, you know, I have no complaints. So that's what I did. Kept the Tesla, got rid of my wife's car, and traded that one in for this one. My wife is keeping the Tesla. So yeah, but that's basically it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. And remember, guys, check out Ants and Belts. I have the link down below so you guys can check them out and take advantage of that amazing deal. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.